Hello everyone, and welcome back to Charwell, the Farming Agency Edition. So, we're starting off with some good news. In fact, two bits of good news. The first one is that this has finally turned to hay. So, it did turn very late, which meant that I couldn't actually um, start the episode late at night to do the work. It did need to be done the next day. But that's fine, we didn't lose any, because the rain that was scheduled didn't actually arrive. So I'm just going through at the moment, getting it all windrowed. I have got the baler here as well. So the moment we finish this, we're going to be able to get cracking on the baling. I also, between episodes, finished the fertilising. So every single arable field is fertilised. I used the drone on the one remaining small field to get that weeded however we've still got a couple of fields the big ones really that need to have for, uh, weeding done um, so I mentioned there's a couple of bits of good news one of the other bits is that the corn field in the top, field 13 uh, let me get rid of that even though it is outside of growing period, it did germinate. So it's now first stage growth. Now that's good because we're going to make corn silage from that. That was the plan. Although I did say, given the size of the field, we might do corn silage and actual corn. Now because we're doing corn silage, I don't have to worry about the fact that it is late. Because you can cut it for silage while it is still green. I believe. I'm fairly sure you can. I need to double check that. But I'm almost certain you can do that. If anybody knows, please let me know. Uh, and the third piece of good news, well, one of them was, one of the pieces of good news was every field is now fully fertilized, if I show you. Everything's fully fertilized, apart from field 13, but that's fine. We can actually do that today. So the final piece, basically there's a lot of good news today. <laughs> That's the summary. Um, the final piece is that the alfalfa fields are already ready to harvest. So that means we can start making alfalfa hay and our alfalfa silage. Now the weather for today is not great, so I think we'd be better off. Apparently on Wednesday it's tr double minus. Why is it double minus? when there's no rain. Interesting. We'll have to see if that changes. Obviously the weather forecast gets more accurate over time. But we're going to have to see anyway, because depending on how many hay bales we get from here, we might not need any alfalfa hay, and we could just make alfalfa silage instead. But we'll have to see how we go with that. But we are almost finished here, and that's good news. Even half this field feels like a lot. So yeah, we can do fertilizing in field 13, the corn field. Um, we can also get this field fertilized once we've picked up all the hay. And um, I might do one or both of those things off camera because I've done a lot of spraying in recent episodes. And I don't like to do too much of the same thing, really. But it has been necessary, because that's pretty much all we can do. We also managed to spend, I think, three episodes doing grass on the same field, which is um, quite an achievement, even by my standards. So, this is it. Here we go, right. Whoa. So let's get over here. We'll park the windrower out of the field. Because if I do any spraying in here, I'm not going to want a windrower in my way. Oh, look, looks like the farmer's planted alfalfa as well. Let's go and grab the baler, 
and we can get cracking on the bales. There we go. Right, now, this is probably going to be done as a time lapse, at least some of it, because there's a lot to do here. Let's see how quickly we make bales. We have variable capacity on, but I don't think we're going to use it. And by the looks of the amount of hay, we're not going to be getting that much from here. Which is a shame. You'll also notice we've gone into minus figures um, on money. So we're no longer allowed to lease anything without taking out a loan. And I've been trying to do this series without any loan taking. That was the plan. Because to be honest, we started off with so much money. It was quite crazy. Yeah, we're not filling up quickly at all. Maybe we're only going to get three or four bales out of this field. That will be very disappointing, given how much work we've put into it. The thing I don't understand is why the tedding didn't make a difference. I tedded it once to turn it to uh, windrowed grass, as it was called, and tedded it again to turn it to semi-dry and then left it out and it became dry. But what I don't know is why it disappeared so much when it was windrow grass. That's a bit of a mystery and that's what I'm a bit disappointed about. Maybe I need to have a look at some of these videos again. So let's just keep going for now until we get our first bale. Which is not going to be long, but yeah, we're not going to get very many bales in this field. Which is a bit of a tragedy. There we go. So let's back up and watch our bale come out. And it's not rolling. I do not have the anti-roll anti bail mod on, so that's quite impressive that he's not rolling. Right, let's crack on and get some more bales made. Right, so we're going to be finishing with less than a full bale, which is disappointing, to be quite honest. Um, it would have been nice to have been close to a full bale at least, because then if we use this bale for something else, we will know that the first bale is going to be normal hay, as it stands. We're going to lose most of the first bale of whatever we make, Excuse that, that was my alarm on my phone. Uh, yeah, we're going to lose most of the first bail we make just because of the fact that this has only got 1500 litres in here. But we have produced how many bales? I think it's five? Four. So I reckoned we were going to get three or four bales. We actually got four. Well, that's better than nothing. So what I'm going to do I'm going to go back to the farm, grab the New Holland, and we're going to come back here with the small trailer the New Holland has got, 
because we can, of course, put four bales onto that. That's not a problem. And we can take it straight over to the cows and feed them the hay. So I'll see you in a moment when we start stacking up. Okay. So, down at the field, uh, I'm trying to think what the best way to do this. I think because of the role of the field, it's probably a good idea if I drop this off here, but let's undo all the straps, or do all the straps up even, because that way it's going to be easier for me to tell where things should go. Now I did bring that tool down accidentally. It wasn't part of the plan to bring it, to be honest. And I'm gonna try and put these bales on, upside down, or on the flat section. If you, can't, if you know what I mean. Like that, yes but just uh, maybe done a little bit better than that. There we go, that's, that's the better way of doing it. I'm hoping that we're not gonna struggle with, with uh, no weight on the back and it Seems that we're doing okay, actually. So. I think we can fit two across here. Hmm, maybe not. In which case, we'll have to put... I know we shouldn't do this. We'll have to put the one at the front on first. Go. Strap that guy down. Perfect. So, oh, we may as well grab this one as it's right here. Okay. Oops. That was, uh, a lesson in how to not spike a bell. That's better. As you can tell, I'm not very good at bell handling. I never have been. It's not a skill that I've been able to pick up over the years of playing, either. I don't know why, I just, I really struggle with it. There we go. Get that guy strapped as well. I think we'll do three across and one on top. Let's grab those last two and then we can head back. Okay, so let's put this last bale just on top in between these two fellas. Perfect. Strap him on as well. Don't think that one's gonna be of much use, no. Good, good, good. All right, just rotate those bale spikes a little. So, that's the hay. We'll take this over to the cows and we'll get them fed because they haven't had any hay yet. See you there in a moment. Down at the yard then, so let's disconnect. And you will notice some strange markings from the lights. That is because my cat has decided to sleep with his paw on one of the keys. There we go, let's stop that. That 
should be better now. He's, uh, yeah, decided today he's going to sleep just next to the keyboard, just to, you know, try and drive me mental. Now let's take that top bale. And the cows, I think, are going to take all of this because it's still minus minus tomorrow. That's not good. But we can see it's dry for the remainder of the day. Uh, right. Yeah, they desperately need maize silage. They've got a bit of grass now. Okay. There were basically there were too many cows for the area. Uh, what? They only take 3,000 litres. Okay. I thought they were going to take more. Well, let's go and stick this in the shed. And we'll give them part of a silage bale as well. In. We could turn our beacons off as well. Right, so we have the oldest of the silage back here. There we go. And we've, we've got silage on the back of the trailer, but I don't know if it's actually turned to silage yet. So we'll have to find out about that. Now, as for the alfalfa, we can of course get it all cut today. The only thing is, I do not know... Uh, I do not know exactly what to do to fix them, to turn it to silage. So I think actually I need to take a break from the video so I can go and research this. Now, we'll just top the cows up with water. There we go. And they need a clean out as well. So I think what we'll do, we'll just go and put this bale back. Oh, there's only 20 litres left in that grass side of bell. Right, we'll just go and put this over here then, I think, for now. They will take that later, I'm almost certain. We are going to have to get the hay sorted, obviously. Uh, let me just put my HUD back on. There we go. Yeah, we're going to have to get the hay sorted. But maybe not yet. I don't think it's urgent that we put it away because we're not due any rain. This amazing broom is just refilling. This is kind of like the shovel I had on Geiselsberg. I can't remember which series I used this on. Ah, I used it on This Is Island, actually, to, for the pigs. Whoa, what just happened to our silage bale? It just vanished. Is that because I put the broom too close to it, maybe? Weird. Right, so, yeah. Some of them are pregnant. The youngest ones are not fertile yet, but they're still gaining weight. They're going to need some straw, but that's not until winter time we give them that. And they still need clover and alfalfa silage and grass. Clover or fresh maize. So, yeah. I will take a break now, and I'll go and find out exactly what to do to get uh, clover silage. Okay, we are on our way round to try the alfalfa. So, like I said, I don't know exactly how this works. I've just had a little look online. I'm going to go first person because this is quite difficult to see. Uh, we need field 63. Where is field 63? Past this field. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to give it a go, basically. That's how I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to hope that it actually works. 
this is our field done. So let's unfold this guy. And how should we do this? We don't have much room, do we? No, we really don't have much room. But... Maybe, maybe... Can we sneak past the crop without destroying it? We kind of can. Okay. Well, but there's a bit of a tree there, it appears. Or a rock or something. So let's turn this guy on and drop him down. Just need enough room to unfold the rear one. That's all I want. There's enough room to unfold the rear. Can we do it? We can. And so he is now down. There we go. So this is our alfalfa crop. This is actually the smaller of the two alfalfa fields we've got. So I think this is going to be a good test for us. Now, I'll put the link up in the video description. Once again, I'm going to be shouting out Scroft Gaming. I've just had another look at uh, his videos. Uh, one particularly about dry uh, drying and stuff. And I think I've got the gist of how to turn this into hay. How to turn it into silage in a pit is something I'm not quite sure about. Uh, turning it into silage in uh, bales looks relatively easy, to be honest. Doesn't look like it's a big deal. But yes, in a pit, I'm not sure. So I'm wondering if maybe we skip the pit and we just make bales out of it. That would probably be easier, I think. But we will do a bit of both, I think, in this field, just to see how it works. There we go. So that's one headland done. Why are you not picking up? Come on. You can see, of course, we've got a bit of an issue here, which is that uh, because we've got grass around the edge, we're kind of cutting the grass at the same time, which is a bit of a pain. It's not what I wanted. But this field is nice and big as well, so I'm thinking we're going to get a decent amount from here. So I will get all of this mode, and we can move on to the interesting bit, which is making the silage and the uh, hay. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we've got the field completely cut, and now it's time to get it all rowed up. However, because we're going to do half of this as hay and half of it as silage just as a test, I'm just going to do two headlands, then we're going to bale up those two headlands, and we're going to ted the remaining. I think that will be fine, and we'll, yeah, we'll try that and we'll see how it goes. I have turned the time down though, because I'm wary that it was due to rain, and I don't want to end up losing all of this because of the rain, because I th I'm fairly sure that... Uh, the same thing happens with alfalfa and clover as with grass in terms of rain. Same with the hay as well, actually. The hay will start to deplete in the rain. So, yeah, I'm very keen to not get rained on, which is why I've dropped the time down. If it looks like everything's going well, I will increase the time back up a little to times five. It just depends on how quickly we can get jobs done, really. And we've got bales on our bale collector at the moment. 
I wonder if... Hmm, I wonder if they've fermented already. If they have, then we can sell them. Otherwise, we're going to have to drop them off and pick them up at another time. Which, to be honest, is a bit of a faff. Because the bales that I left on the bale collector, I said I was going to use them. I was going to sell them rather than use them. Because we have so much grass silage at the moment, we don't really need any more. But yeah, if we... If they aren't ready for selling, they're going to make a bit of a mess. Hmm. Having said that, I suppose I could take them over to the BGA. I'm fairly sure we bought the BGA, didn't we? Did I? I think that's the BGA, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so we could take them over to the BGA and just leave them there until they're fermented. It might be a better idea anyway, because as much as I need the money, I don't have enough time in this episode to go and sell things at the biogas plant. There's a lot of messing around normally that comes with selling at the biogas plant, so yeah, it would be good if we could just dump them up there and sell them another day. But anyway, I'm going to get this windrow to this last little bit. The next time I come back, I will have the JCB and the baler. And we will be about to start baling up these headlands. So see you in a couple of minutes. Just coming up to the field then. And we're going to get started on the baling straight away. Now, luckily for us, this is an awesome fast baler. Unfortunately for us, the first bale is going to be fresh grass. Quite annoying. But there we go, at least that's done. So now we're picking up alfalfa. But we're also only able to pull at four miles an hour? What's going on here? That's a little weird that we can only pull at four miles an hour. But there's our first alfalfa bale. Strangely enough, he says that we're blocking ourselves. Don't know how that happens. Ooh. The cat just made me jump. Silage alfalfa. So, let's have a quick look. 48 hours to go. Awesome. Right, let's carry on. We seem to be doing a no, we were doing a bit better with speed. Not anymore, though. I'm actually thinking that the reason it's struggling a bit is because of my cat. Because he keeps leaning on buttons and it seems to be making a mess. So, let me just pause for a moment and I'll go and sort the cat out. Right, the cat has now been moved, so hopefully this will be a bit better. I may have to go through and just press a load of random keys though, actually. So while that bell is wrapping, let me just go and press a load of random buttons. Right, let's see if that has fixed it at all. It looks like no. So it just looks like we're struggling for power. Which is odd, because what's the power requirement of this baler? 150. And the JCB has got 
235, so I don't really know why we're struggling so much. The only thing I can think is that it's the alfalfa. Maybe for some strange reason, alfalfa working speed is much lower. Don't really know why that would be though. Uh, but while, after I finished the wind drawing, I did actually go and empty the bale collector. So that is actually now ready to go. Um, we need to get a tether, but of course I did say that we've run out of money. So we're going to have to take a loan out. I think with the amount of tedding we're going to be doing from now on, we should buy one. The only thing is, what size? I'm tempted by some sort of medium sized tether because that would mean that we... It would mean that we can ted field 79 fairly slowly, but we can ted these fields at a decent rate. Because, of course, if we go straight in with something massive, we might actually struggle on these sides fields. I don't know. I mean, this field isn't small, I suppose. Let's have a quick look while we're going straight. So, 6, 8.7, 13, 4.4, 8.9, 11.2, 8.6. I think 13 is a bit big. Maybe the 11.2, the, the Vicon one. Oops. Now oh, look, so the moment we get off the alfalfa, he suddenly speeds up. So it's the alfalfa that's slowing him down. It's very interesting. Okay, but what that means then is we need 24,500. So, again, I'm going to try this. <laughs> Let's see how well it works. Two, three. Okay, so we can now quickly purchase that guy, factory new, yeah. Okay. And we can go and pick that up after. So I will finish wrapping this headland and I will return with the tether so we can get this field done. Okay, so I've got my tether and I have collected up the bales. We got 20 bales from just the two headlands of this. Interestingly, because we had 2,000 litres left in the baler, I just ran around the edge of the field slightly and the baler was actually able to operate at full speed when it was not doing windrows. So that's like, that's a bit strange. However, I have also realized this episode is gonna be far too long already. Um, I'm gonna to have to try and cut it down somehow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop here and there's going to be an extra episode completing this field. Now, you won't have to wait long for that extra episode, because it will actually be tomorrow. I will do it as an extra bonus on Sunday. But for now, thank you very, very much for watching, everyone. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.